Match day 35 review here of the Scottish Premiership. We've got six games to go through. Some ones that were early, some that were seven, some that were quarter to eight. Don't know why it was completely different. Times. Some that were good, some that were shit. And let's dive in and we'll start from the L. Oh, I don't even know what the earliest one is. You look at Flash going, okay. you don't get the earliest. I think I, it was. Hamilton, come on it. No, no Hamilton. Was it not Hibs? It might have been. I mean. I, it, it was Hibs. Well, so Hibs beat Livingston 2 1 in the quote unquote Embra Derby. Uh, quote unquote, the fight for Europe. And Hibs have secured the European place, albeit it might not be uh, third, but they will be guaranteed uh, European football whether they finish third or fourth. Because I believe that third and fourth both get uh, places regardless of who wins the cup now, because Scotland have five places next year. Um, that is how it works, yep. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I don't. I read. I don't know. I can't remember when I read it. It's something between. I think the winner of the cup gets Europa League, is it? Yeah, and the, the third, which I think is a bit shit. The third and fourth get the playoff. Which I think no, the third and fourth get the. Aye, the Europa League too. The conference. It's um, called the Europa so, Conference. Oh fuck. Wait, is it Conference League? Is it the Europa Conference League? But here, gets me. No, no, I want to know. I want to know like I what don't have level. A I, no, I want to know what I want to know what levels of teams are going to be in that. I think you're going to get like an eighth place team to England. I mean, I think we're assuming that the Scottish teams have actually got a chance of going far. But they could still have the issue where to get in it, they might have to beat like whoever finishes like 8th in England. So it, it could be, Hibs could be, to get into the Conference League, to qualify for it, Hibs might need to beat like an Aston Villa. That's which is not, still... That's a tough, but it's doable. I mean, like, I mean, it's... Well, maybe if they give them McGinn back. But, And I also, know. I mean, say one year, I mean, a, a, a League One team wins the Cup somehow. Like, they're going into the Europa League. It's mad. A bit weird. Um, and they're all. I don't think. I don't think it's right. I don't think it's right. I mean, I think this conference thing. I think it should exclude maybe the top four nations. Could we do something like that? If the top four nations are being, but and we will make a video on that new reformed Champions League format because that's an absolute fucking joke. UEFA can suck a dick because they're just as bad as the uh, European Super League. Hypocritical bastards, right? You know, the thirty-six team Champions League, and they're, 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 they're trying to make it so that. The, the top the top highest four in the coefficient that don't qualify get in that basically means any that means all the big clubs are guaranteed in think about it Liverpool it finishes the top four so it's, it's it's the best four in the coefficient that didn't already qualify so that means none of see the all the big teams in Europe don't they give they're, they're guaranteed again so see what's the top four the top four battles gone see so see from now on in the league see see, see Liverpool for example if it was this season mm -hmm. And see if they've got like an FA Cup semi-final they dress players in the league because they can't win the league and, and they don't need top four because they'll be guaranteed Europe anyway, Champions exactly. League anyway it's so, so I think the Premier League have to say nah man we ain't having this it, it is absolutely retarded that a team that like Arsenal we would we would qualify under the current rules I know I'm going to assume we'd be in the top four eh, who wouldn't qualify I mean you, you'd, you'd Liverpool then you would us but I mean who else is not in, inside the Champions League places that would be higher than Arsenal in the coefficient Exactly. That, that see that coefficient rule that is never going to benefit even a team like Celtic Rangers. Never. It's only going to coefficient levels are nowhere it's near. Gonna, it's going to it's going to benefit the teams in England when you think about it because Eng the top six in England. That, that means the top six are guaranteed every year to qualify more or less. I know. It's a joke. It's a fucking joke. It is a joke. And talking about a joke, we're fucking Hamilton one nil. Motherwell. Brian Rice could be very soon heading to the championship. Wait, hold on. But one last thing here before we move on and talk about Brian Rice. That legit means we could have eight teams from England. You think about it, Tottenham, Arsenal, Liverpool, and say Chelsea did finish outside the top four. Mm -hmm. Those those four would be right up there on the coefficients. I know. I don't know if all four of them would be the, the well, next highest, yeah. but so every so how many leagues get this? What do you how many? No, it's it doesn't matter. It's it, the top four highest clubs in the UEFA coefficient that don't qualify for the Champions League get in. But it might not be English. I get what you mean. No, it's it doesn't matter. It's top four. It can be one from a league or four from a league. It doesn't matter. The top four highest and the coefficient that don't qualify get in. Aye, I get you. Aye. So what don't you get? Ah, but it might not be all the same team from the one league. No, it is. It doesn't matter. Same league or not same league. So the highest team. What's well, what's so difficult to, for you to understand this? It's, so the four highest teams who aren't in the who don't get into the top four. Who are who aren't in the top four but have got the highest coefficients get in? Yes, yes. yes but yes, they can be from different leagues. Or the same league, yes. That's right. It's not an English thing. The way you were wording it there was, well, it can only be the top league. With the coefficient. No, it can, no, it can, be, right, it can be any league, but unless you're in the top league, you're not going to have a high coefficient. 
Uh, this is the roof, Scott. We're, right, we're, we're getting right. one team in, if we're lucky, getting into the fucking group stage. Right, well, I just think it's fucking shite. I, I would rather see Hamilton get in than... But let's be honest, what's Hamilton's coefficient? They're never getting in. Speaking of Hamilton, I know they lost one, tonight. No. Uh, man sent off. It's not looking good for them. Can they pull off the great escape? Uh, they're going to have to win at least two of their last remaining three games. I hope they do it. I do hope they do it. I wanted Kelly originally to go down, but it looks like Kelly have... You know, they're going to stay up because they beat Dundee United 3-0. And uh, Dundee United had really nothing to play for at this stage. And Car- Carl Laffrey hat-trick? I mean, the guy's ha- he's had good four. He, had a, he he scored a hat-trick like last week or something in the cup, didn't he? Really? He or, got booked and scored a hat-trick. I mean, Carl Laffrey, is there life in the old uh, big dog yet? The seven-foot guy that plays the flute? Maybe he could replace Morelos if Rangers let him go. Maybe not. But, uh, yeah, up next with uh, Ross County losing to St Mirren, three goals to one. Ross County were winning this, they were 1-0 up, and that would, I think, all but all but secure the uh, Hamilton's fate. That, I think that would have relegated them, but St Mirren came back, got the win, and that keeps Ross County within touching distance of Hamilton. And I actually think Ross County have still to play Hamilton, so, I mean, that game could be absolutely tasty. Six-pointer. Yeah, big six-pointer, big massive match. Next up, though, we've got St Johnson against Rangers, the only game that we watched. <laughs> Oh. Well, I actually seen some of the Aberdeen Celtic game. I went off sports scene on the fucking radio. We, uh, <laughs> did, you, did you adjust the, the volume barrier and you called that as watching a highlight? Woo! <laughs> anyway, though, yeah, Rangers were pish, but they were winning and they got screwed out of a penalty. Last kick of the game. Was it not a penalty? Because, no. well, BBC Sports said it was a definite penalty. Well, St. Johnson could have had two penalties earlier on in the game, but they didn't, so I thought it was fair enough. Getting one they didn't deserve. If you didn't get two, you kind of maybe deserve. So basically St. Johnson were screwed and they should have won. Oh, St. Johnson should have won. Well, they, I mean, Rangers have been shite, but they're still not losing. But this was the beat. They made like eight changes. And that's a sign of a good team, John right? McLaughlin started. Shaft was clean sheet. No, but I mean, I, I looked at the, the Rangers team is still pretty strong. I mean, this this team should be winning. I thought it was the B team. I don't know. It wasn't the B. It, it was it was the B team with about four or five A team players on it. Come on. They call it the B team's right, harsh. It, it was like a 50% let's, let's fit. Look at, let's look at the lineup. No, right, it was a 50% right, let's fit Tav. Let's Jack look at, Simpson no, no, at the no, back. It doesn't matter whether Tav was 50%, 100% or 0%. He is A team. Right, the team should be winning. Right, I mean, they they got, Tav, 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 Tav and Eel, Hadji, I mean, Goldson and Kamara, arguably first team. What do you mean? Oh, Bar- Goldson Barisic. has not missed a game under Jarrett. Well, there you go. Barisic, first team. Davis, you could Davis? argue his first team. What do you mean you could... You don't have a fucking clue what you're talking no, about. No, I, I do have a clue. What do you no, mean you could argue? No, I, he starts every fucking game. No, that's what I'm, no I'm, I'm saying who... What do you mean, I, you, what no, mean, no, 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 What do you mean he could argue his first time when he starts every game? No, it's like you just don't have a clue then? No, no, I do have a clue. But all I'm saying is the only players that you cannot that you cannot make a case of her that aren't first team here are McLaughlin, Simpson, Wright, Wright and Itton. It, I'd even... Well, maybe Roof you could say is borderline in the middle. But that's it. So for you to suggest this was a B team, it's not because well, it was a weak. It was a weaker team. Oh yeah, a weaker team. But my, my point is, right? Well, Davis starts most games or not. I, I I think you could make a case that you could leave him at a Rangers first eleven. Mike. Whereas, like I'm saying, I don't think the other players I mentioned you could leave it. But regardless, right? Rangers are shite. They didn't get the win. But speaking of shite, no one's shite other than this team right here. The green, uh, green and white Celtic. And the green brigade. Uh, the green brigade. I mean, they may have dominated possession. They may have had a majority of chances, but every single one of them was shit. They created nothing. Ferguson with the, the opener should have doubled the the, go- the lead uh, in the second half. Hit the post. Uh, I mean, this this guy's got potential to be better than Barry. I think. Wonder, yeah, wonder when he's getting his move to Rangers because that seems to be the new Barry. way. Everybody seems to go from the sheep to the uh, the, the Glasgow. The teddy bears, so uh, uh, yep, Tavernier, not Tavernier, sorry, Ferguson should have doubled their lead. Didn't they happen? Celtic last kick of the game. Lee Griffiths, obviously, uninstalled Willie Hill for about 10 seconds, came on the pitch and scored and denied Aberdeen um, three points. This draw means. Oh, that joke was too far, man. You, that, need, you need to. Uh, you ain't got to funny. Unsubscribe. Uh, I mean, this, this point, there's absolutely nothing for Celtic, but it kind of buries Aberdeen and their chances now of getting third place are. Kinda in a shambles because I believe that puts them four points now behind Hibs. Yep, something like that. Because yeah, we'll see now. We'll get league table up, guys. They are six. Right, well. <laughs> yeah, it's not looking good for them, is it? It's not looking. Wait, six? Yeah. Oh, six. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, six. I mean, What's the team... difference between finishing fifth or sixth. Could fifth get you Europa League, the top four win? Is one of the top four win the cup? Yeah. 
That's right. Then. So Livingston still have a solid chance of that. Oh, but they can't play in Europe actually. Why not? Because uh, their stadium? I suddenly got Because it's fucking classic. That's shite. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all our teams in Europe have played on a plastic, plastic pitch. It's either it's bound to have been. Oh, but the hard thing. Oh, on, if they can let San Marino teams in, can Livingston not get a goal? I mean, let's be real. That, that Lincoln, Lincoln Red Imps, they're fucking plastic, I'm pretty sure. Fans are maybe plastic. They beat Sally, like, but oh, the fans are plastic. You don't have any fans. Oh, that's true. Anyway, I'll definitely. Still love to room for Hamilton. I mean, he, I mean, you were hyping this up as if it was going to be great, but oh, it's all about the, yeah, the Scottish oh, Cup. You seem pretty deed. Um, well, the Rangers are going to go on like this channel. Yeah, a Scottish Cup will we'll do the preview on Friday night or whatever, whenever the game starts. When did they start? Are they off Saturday? Or is there a Friday night kick-off? can't remember. I'll do it first and then get to do it tomorrow. So that's it, guys. Stay tuned and, uh, yeah, check out all the other good feds and all the, all the gaming feds and all that stuff. And that's it, man. Until next time. This has been Fog Football. We're no saying welcome back anymore, so get used to it. Yep, don't come back. Fuck off.